Coach Johnson here with Spotlight High. I'm on location at Deep Creek High School. I'm joined by girls softball, Coach Rutherford. Coach, congratulations on your big win in the side, Southeastern District. But before we start talking about the game, um, we pretty much in the mid way of your season. Um, talk to me, how the season been going thus far? Season been going pretty good. You know, uh, we've had uh, we've had some ups and downs for sure. Um, I say at the beginning of the season, we're trying to find out, you know. Thing, how things were going to go. You know, we had to replace a couple big pieces that graduated last year, and we got some kids that are really stepping in, filling in real big for that. Um, you know, at this halfway point, I said just past the halfway point. I mean, we're ten and three, so we're feeling we're feeling real good right now, and um, you know, trying to trying to stay healthy for the long haul. That's awesome, Coach. Let's talk about the game. Um, yep, you're, you're starting pitcher number one, Virginia. Um, she ran into a little pro a little little trouble in the first two innings, yeah. but she kind of stayed persistent with her pitching throughout the whole game. How did you calm her down and motivate her to keep pressing on? We we've we've had a hiccup or two, you know. Um, you know, she's had some games where she's been like flawless. I, I mean, absolutely phenomenal. And then, you know, she's had other times when we've struggled to put batters away a little bit, and that kind of showed up a little bit in the beginning. Um, so just trying to remind her that the defense, we 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 practice ground balls and fly balls. She doesn't have to put the whole team on her back. She doesn't have to do that. And um, she settled she settled down quite nicely. And I mean, I felt like she as the game got longer, she got better. Um, and I think that she has a tendency to do that, especially especially when we have a couple good quick innings. I think the bottom of the fourth inning, we had a really good, we got three, two out hits to take the lead. And that, that really kind of calmed her nerves a little bit because I feel, I feel like she feels responsible sometimes, you know, which is good. I like, I like the fact that she cares when she gives up runs. So. Well, you, you're totally the right. Seemed like she got better as, you know, the temperature dropped, but seemed like she got better with her pitching. But she do have some um, great defense because um, she came up with eight strikeouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight strikeouts. I mean, she's averaging close to six or seven a game. Uh, the first time that she played these the, the Lakeland team, I think we had 12, mm -hmm. and that's probably her best outing that she's had. And so coming into tonight, you know, Anytime they're making contact, a little extra. I'm, you know, I mean, it's it's kudos to them. They've done, right. they've gone back and done some homework. Yeah. Um, th that program has come a long way, and they're in really good hands. I mean, they got a big win over Great Bridge, and right. that's phenomenal for them. But for her, for VA to step in, you know, and um, to to continue to do what she's doing mm -hmm. on a day in and day out basis is it's pretty special. Let's talk about your batting order. Mm -hmm. It was kind of shaky in the, in the beginning. <laughs> And the third, between the, the the fourth and fifth inning, mm -hmm. they kind of start hitting the bat. Uh, yeah, the first time through the lineup, you know, um, we we try and take a we take a really good approach. You know, I mean, we hit some balls hard and did some little things. Uh, one of the big things I was proud of was, you know, we were trailing two two nothing, mm -hmm. and to get it back to two one by doing some of the little things. You know, we got a base hit, mm -hmm. drew a walk. You know, did a sack bunt to move the runners over and there, got a yes. sack fly to score the run to kind of put us back in, hey, we can still do this without yes. without getting hit after hit after hit. And then the second time through the lineup, you're making adjustments. About the third time through, the lineup really comes to life, especially if the pitching if 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 you don't if you can't change the pitching, you know, right. which you I don't have that luxury a lot and some of the other teams don't, you mm -hmm. know, but there are some teams that do. Yes. And that, that can really mess with the team. So third time through the lineup I'm as I'm I'm really looking to do damage the third time and the kids know that. That philosophy right. is, is bought in. We relay information. You know, if a kid messes up or strikes out on a pitch, they go to the on deck circle and they relay that information to the next kid and so on and so forth so that by the time that third or fourth we're never out of the game. Right. Yeah. Right. Well speaking of never out of the game, <laughs> I noticed that your girls yeah. they never sat down. They cheered each other. Talk to me about that team spirit that you have in your athletes. Uh, I'm lucky to have some uh, so, some some fun loving seniors who have been around. Mm -hmm. This bunch um, has experience at that next level. They've been to a state semifinal game. You know, mm -hmm. we were on run short, and those kids remember yeah. that. Um, uh, so it's a kind of a culture that's been established here the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know. Um, Right now we got this thing where we're, you know, we're we're flipping the switch on, you yeah. know, and and sometimes we need that second or third in or somebody just remind us that we got to flip the switch on, right. you know, for for the two and a half two hours that you're going to be out here competing at the highest level that you can, yes. and and then uh, hopefully you know if you respect the game and things go in your favor, then you know uh, then then you, then you're going home happy. Yeah. Last question, coach. Yes, There's no district tournament and there's no conference tournament that's a good thing or a bad thing to get your kids game ready that's a good question um i would say in years past when we had conference 17 mm -hmm. um it was a 
extremely competitive but not always in the direct area where we were mm -hmm. so we would always play the old southeastern district teams once right. and that would be that would be our battle test you know and then you would go into the end of the season and you'd have to come back and you'd have to face really good teams i mean grafton on the other side is no slouch mm -hmm. um you know and then great bridge and kingsport got moved back to our conference and they're they're regular foes now you know uh they're, they're those rival games that you really want and um but i i do believe going back to the southeastern district where we play each other twice mm -hmm. um anybody can beat anybody on right. any given night, oh, you know, yes. and um, you're going to have teams that have really good nights and teams that have bad nights. And you, um, at the end of the day, you just hope you have more good than bad. Yeah. I, I will say that going into the extra, you know, this is the first time that this is happened for us too. So yeah. going into that next, that next section, we don't really know what that section looks yeah. like yet, um, you know. But I think um, uh, we got a good shot as long as we stay healthy and um, the girls, you know, continue to um, uh, stay motivated, you know. And, and I don't. I don't have to do so much of it, you know. That's kind of that's a that's a them thing, and they take care of it. And it's nice when they hold each other accountable because right. that kind of takes me out of the equation, and I just get to I get to shake hands at the end of the day and 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 be thankful that that they're a part of the program. Coach, you got some great leadership, and I'd like to thank you for what you do for your community. Oh, I appreciate it, man, and uh, thanks for coming out. Always a uh, always a pleasure, man. And you know, it's we we had some crazy crowds here last Friday night, especially, and then tonight. I mean, they're they're around. Um, so you know, the the rest of the season, man, we'll see what happens, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Hey, thanks a lot. Good man. luck to you, Coach.